Hey, what's up, guys? I'm BTC, and I'm joined by Skill, who is a Grandmaster Top 500 player, one of the best in the world. We're going to be going through your gameplay in the Coach and Roast. We're going to try to give you some tips and advice on how you can improve and rank up, but we're also going to be making fun of all the stupid things that you do. Now, before you complain about this, Everybody who submitted a video knows exactly what we're going to be doing, so don't whine, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Alright, looks like we got some Ana gameplay. Oh boy. Oh boy. I just played with you last. Who oh, you got a Widow. And a Tracer. Oh, oh yeah! Yes. Get yes. Everybody gets swifty. You know, this actually makes me miss the um the CS:GO like intro, like when when uh, at at the warm up, like people used to um people used to all always uh like blare music and stuff since both teams could hear it. But then they changed it, so you can't do that. Also, yeah, uh, speaking of changed, uh, he's no longer playing Ana. He's actually playing uh, Diva. So Diva's a good choice, and, and you lost oh, your mech already. Rip. So, uh, what you should be doing right now is going right and throwing yourself off the cliff because uh, you're a tank and you can't tank right now. So. Help, help. Also, there's I think a, you had dash off a of cooldown, so you could have just like dashed into the spawn room. All right, so you got your own. All right, it's fine. Whatever. I still would have killed myself and got my mech back. And Ooh. it's gone again. So. Yeah. Oh, Alright, yeah. you're D.Va, right? But you're not invincible, you know, so... It's... Yeah, especially post-patch. Yeah, come down a little bit with that. Especially post-patch. Um, Is that you... a Reaper that I hear? Enemy Reaper? <laughs> Might have been. I think I hear an enemy Reaper. They teleported already? That's, that's an enemy Reaper for sure. I just don't know where he is. Reaper Three edgy five me. Yep, there he is. There's the Reaper. I heard it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you, right now, uh, if I were you, I probably would have switched to a Reinhardt by now because yeah. um, look at their lineup. Uh, still they've cool. got uh, they've got the Roadhog and the um, the Zari. Excuse me, not the Roadhog. Uh, Zari. They have a Roadhog. They have a May and a, a Symmetra, and. Um, your defense matrix is going to do nothing. Yeah, there's no projectile to protect, so uh, Reinhardt is definitely good. Um, but if you were going to continue to play D.Va, I think you're just going to continue to play D.Va. Um, try to play the tank role a little more. I saw you trying to fight Maeve off for a little while there. Also, uh, you know, Maze Ray can't be, you know, blocked by D.Va matrix, so not sure if you knew that. Yeah, and the thing is, is uh, after the um, the diva nerf, uh, Roadhog can hook you and then basically destroy your mech. So just be more aware of where he is, and don't let him hook you, because if he hooks you and does his combo, then your mech is gone and you're no longer a tank. Yeah, you got to be ready for that Reaper ult. Uh, that could have been catastrophic. Luckily, your your Winston was there and uh, in the perfect spot, so that worked out. But your team could have just died right there. Good job protecting your Roadhog from that. Alright, that was good. That was good. Alright, that, that Mercy was like way out of position. All right, good job, good job. Uh, Playing well overall. Yeah, using using the defense matrix, a lot of a lot of people would have been. Uh, attempted to like uh, attack that Reaper, but uh, he was attacking one or two of your teammates, and you prevented a lot of damage and possibly a death um, by using the defense matrix and simply nullifying all of his all of his damage. So that that was good. So this is risky without your team knowing what you're doing. Uh, you didn't tell them anything, but uh, it's only a junk rat, so you're safe. Luckily, you know, if it was anything, if it was a better character, then you know. <laughs> If you could have possibly died. If it was a character that wasn't absolutely completely garbage, then you you could possibly have been in danger. Got him. So if I were you, this is the perfect situation to do an ult. There you go. But you threw it at the ground instead of in the air. 
<laughs> so so it, it kind of just sat there and didn't do much. Now, there's other things that you can do as well with the Diva ult. Um, you don't have to... <sighs> You don't have to go head on with them. Like, uh, for example, there's little corners of the building. Uh, like, you can see it on the left of the screen right there. You can, like, kind of angle the, the mech up at an angle and then use your ult. So Great that... matrix. Oh, oh, grab it. Deny it. No. Yeah, make him waste his ammo. And then you go in. Good. I think you missed a little bit though, so. Yeah, uh, retreating also, is a good option. Also, you should have grabbed the uh, you should have grabbed that health pack. Deny it. Um, yeah, so don't you don't have to use your ult uh, directly. Like you can kind of send it over walls and and stuff like that, and over buildings. Especially in Dorado, there's a lot of places where you can just send your ult over a building. Oh God, you're dead. Um, oh shit. They, they won't know what's coming, and then you can get more surprise kills that way. So I would have told you to go kill yourself uh, over the edge, but um, uh, your team was pushing up, so staying as many diva was actually okay because it, you're not wasting time, you know, getting your mech back and rezzing. So that, that was good. Unfortunately, the Reaper was there to instantly kill you. You should be oh, matrixing shit. that, yeah, immediately. Oh, they got me. Love for the there you go, that was a pretty solid uh, defense of that Pharah ult there. What? Flying no. away is the good choice, although I would not go for oh, the health yeah, bank. I would uh, try to leave completely. Sense. If they had chased you, maybe they could have uh, killed you and finished your mech yeah, off there. That's dead. why. <laughs> All right, so hopefully your team is able to do a coordinated push here. An ult here would be amazing. You. There you go. And Unfortunately, they didn't yeah. get anything. Now, it's kind of the nature of the beast, though, with uh, the ah, diva ult. Um, because there is such a... Because there is such a, 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 a warning to the enemy team, you're not always going to get them. Um, sometimes just zoning them out can be beneficial. Uh, it wasn't amazing right there, but um, just yeah, keep that in mind. Yeah, don't expect to kill uh, you know, the whole enemy team or any target at all, for that matter, with a Devo. It's, it's a zoning tool that will also punish bad positioning on your enemy team's part. So at that range, don't worry about left clicking because you're doing virtually no damage at that range. So instead, just kind of stand behind the the wall there, so you don't take damage. Yeah, he's not kidding when he says virtually no damage. I think at that distance, it's literally That's quite like it literally 0. 0.5 damage. Um, oh, it's it's quite literally 0. 0.5 damage per hit. So. So you should be holding Matrix right here, just to prevent the yeah the enemy team from doing damage. Over Matrix fire. over everything. Yeah, um, that that is Diva's one of basically Diva's best uh, ability and one of the strongest abilities in the game. And a lot of people just don't um, a lot of people just don't pay enough attention to it. Like. So I think you're switching to Lucio just because there's eight seconds left. Come in. But you swapped to healing. You should be you should be on speed right now. You should be on speed right now to catch the cart. No. Yeah, if you had kept it on speed, you could have touched cart. Yeah. I don't know if you had a tracer at that very end. Um, if you're trying to do that last, that last ditch kind of panic, uh, run to the, to the payload, your best bet is probably to go with a tracer and then someone else on your team can get the, um, get the Lucio and, and bring the rest of your people there. I mean, this is, this is something that's usually only going to happen with people that are a little more coordinated and it's not going to happen in like, you know, random pug groups. 
Um, but like the the tracer can get there first, and then tracer has enough utility to delay the cart long enough, uh, delay the overtime where uh, a Lucio like would be able to really bring in several Lucio. other of your team to continue to contest. You want so, me to go Lucio? This is kind of interesting. Um, you're now playing a a support, and I think you no, have you, can be you have triple support right now, just like Lucio which is not very good. Increase, increases. Um, Increases her uh, like hold usability on. and her usefulness. Hold, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait, wait what? That's just just like Lucia's speed boost. Increase increases increases her uh, like usability and her usefulness. What? Okay, okay, guys. One thing, one thing, real quick. <laughs> That's just how I if feel. you don't know what you're talking about, don't say anything. Okay. You Lucio, don't... first of all, Lucio is not the best healer. He was never the best, he I, best healer. He's a supplement to he, healing. Yeah. Um, also, um, Lucio... Well, that's not why you use Lucio. You use him for the speed boost. Okay. Exactly. This guy's got it. I don't. What? What? <laughs> yeah, you do. What? What? If you wanted a healer, play Anna. Yeah. Uh, so he said that Lucio helps make Symmetra better. I don't know how. I mean, I mean Lucio is, doesn't just help Symmetra play better. I mean, Lucio helps everyone with the speed boost. That's why he's picked. That's why he's so good. So another thing is, um, I just want to just want to quickly mention, like, you went from a tank role to a support role. Um, I would recommend that you pick one or the other. Uh, I, you don't have to play the same heroes over and over, but try to play the same heroes that are within the same role. Um, if you're switching from from a support to a tank or from a damage dealer to a tank, uh, then you're usually going to be playing at a level that's less than optimal. So don't play just one character. Play multiple, but try to play them within the same role. Yeah, and even if you're are playing just as no, well, we're good, we're good. your teammates probably won't be because that one guy is gonna get screwed into the role that he doesn't want to play or can't play. So even at GM, you have a bunch of people that can only play Lucio, and if they play anything else, and they play at like a silver rating, right? So it's uh, you kind of let let the people choose what they want, and then you can fill in if you want to or. Pick the one role you want to play, and then let everyone else sort it out. Don't switch it up on them. I don't... I... Are you actually hitting me, anybody? It doesn't look like it. You're just, just spamming it. So, in, in this situation, your team is playing very poorly. So many things could go wrong here. And since you're playing Symmetra... Yeah, look where you are. You're you're kind of virtually useless until they they go up to uh, to the choke point. Your Zenyatta kind of just ran away from you, so you didn't heal. Yeah, he, he did not want to heal you at all. You were literally next. Also, um, I mean, I don't think honestly, I don't think the Zenyatta even knew that you were there, and it looked like he just panic ult to save himself. And I think he ended up dying anyways, so... I, I don't know for certain if he died. I wasn't paying attention to the kill feed, but... I would assume he probably So, yeah, what you're doing right there is kind of dangerous right now. Wait until the enemy team wipes before you set up turrets like that. Also, the other thing is, is you're basically showing them where you're setting up the turrets. Um, I mean, it, it, it's not critical because they know that there's going to be stuff there anyways. But... Um, Maybe on some of the lower brackets, they're not gonna they're not gonna realize like right away, and you might get like a little bit. Also, uh, keep in mind they do have a Lucio, so your little right clicks that you're spamming are kind of pitiful right now. Uh, you have to charge it up for it to actually do any damage. Th those right clicks that you're spamming are being healed up instantly by Lucio's little ticks. So I mean, uh, just charge it up instead so that you can burst someone down and maybe get a lucky kill or uh, you know at least help your team get a kill. And also remember because of the way your ults work you like in in most situations if you are doing like little bits of damage, right? Um then you're building your ult uh while at the same time Lucio is building his because he's healing it up. 
But because you already had your teleporter placed, you cannot build alt. So the only thing you're doing is letting him build his. So just be aware of that. Uh, so it looks like you guys are going to win. Um, there is a Reaper there. He could possibly ult. Nice. All right, so you guys did win that one. Uh, looking at the enemy team, though, they had a pretty dumb lineup. I mean, Reinhardt, Lucio, Ana, and Diva are, are great, but uh, they were just lacking in the damage. I mean... I think their Junkrat was pretty much just spamming, and your Reinhardt shield was just absorbing most of that. The Reaper tried a whole bunch of different... I think he tried, like, quite a few times to, to like, flank, and, like, they all just failed. Like, he just he just didn't get anywhere. So I think they, if they had a, a better lineup, they probably uh, would have worked, but they were just playing like garbage. They were playing like absolute garbage. Um, in most situations, the lineup that you have probably is not going to work. Um, I think if they had more coordinated and um, they uh, would have had a better lineup, then they could have they could have pushed it, at least taken the first point, at least. All right, so I guess um, the bulk of the video was uh, was D.Va, so let's let's talk. Uh, sure, so, I mean, start, start of the video, you did pretty well. Everything went pretty standard. Uh, you... Saved a few people's lives there with your matrix. You used uh, your matrix actually quite a bit, and uh, it was very impressive. Uh, but towards the end there, it started getting a little sloppy because you guys were dominating. So your team wasn't as grouped up as it should have been, and uh, maybe you know because of that, you were out of position a few times. Um, there were some micro bits where you know you could have made a better play if you had decided to uh, throw yourself over over the cliff on Dorado and. Uh, been able to get your your mech back as soon as possible um uh because you're using defense matrix so much compared to other divas the one thing you need to keep in mind is that it does have a certain amount of it that you can use so make sure that uh you're carefully watching that there are some situations where you had enough to, to stop roadhog ult etc but uh, you could have prevented more damage if you had uh waited a little bit and uh, allowed them to continue with their damage and then kind of stop them halfway through by using your matrix so that your healers could top off that damage and um, prevent the rest from, from going through. Uh, the ults that you were throwing out were not the best. Uh, they were the pretty one predictable. Yeah, the one towards the end was okay. Unfortunately, didn't get anything. Uh, but th the one, uh, I think it was at the second point, you, I think you missed it, and you threw it at the ground, and it didn't get anything. If that had been thrown well, I think uh, you could have actually picked up... I think it was three kills, if it had landed perfectly. Um, but other than that, I think you did an, a good good job. Just work on the positioning a little bit. Think about everything that you can possibly do. Also, your tracking skill needs to be... You just need to practice a little bit more. Uh, basically, like um, when you're left-clicking with D.Va... Uh, and you're trying to hit your target, just uh, maybe you might want to um, check your sensitivity a little bit. If you're having trouble with the, the tracking, um, you know, mess around with it. You might need to lower it a little bit or something like that. But um, Or maybe it's just practice. It, it could be that. Now, as far as the, the Symmetra, uh, said quite a bit about it. Like, I, don't, I don't like the, the three support lineup uh, is generally not a good idea. Um, when you're playing on the ladder, though, you never know who you're going to go against, and obviously the, the enemy team was just garbage on attack. They just, they just couldn't do anything. So they really couldn't uh, shut you down, but if somebody on the enemy team uh, had been playing a Winston and had been do doing it right, they could have easily you know, eliminated all your little turrets and stuff like that. Uh, if they had a, a Tracer who was... Uh, you know, doing their job, they could have gone off and destroyed your teleporter and stuff. And that's bad enough, but uh, when you're basically, when you're sacrificing this much damage uh, in order to have that many supports, then you're just kind of putting your team in an awkward position. Again, uh, like I said, I think 
pick a role that you want to play and try to stick with the characters in that role. So if you want to do tank, then just keep doing tanks and, and you know learn the different tanks or something like that. Uh, like for example, in this situation, honestly, I think a diva or a Zarya would would have probably been a better pick than than Symmetra, and it would have probably worked fine because you had a Mercy and a Zen. So um, other than that, uh, be mindful. Like when you're just throwing out the little blobs like that, because all you were doing was building uh, Lucio's alt, and you weren't actually getting anything because you already had your alt placed. Uh, so be mindful of that. Uh, don't try to run forward and place your turrets and stuff when the enemy is, like, right there. Um, and uh, I think that's probably... That's, that's about it. That's all I got. Anyways, thank you for submitting the video. Good luck in climbing the ladder. If you'd like to have your gameplay coached and roasted, check out the description of this video for more details. But that's going to be it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe because there's lots more Overwatch on the channel. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.